Hi everyone. I recently posted a detailed review of the Netgear Orbi and I mentioned that I ran into an issue during installation. I didn't want the first video to get very long so I decided I would break it off and do one more video that just shows what the problem was and then how I resolved it. Hopefully this video would help anyone that's doing an installation of the Orbi and gets stuck in the same way that I did. Installation of the Orbi was really easy. I first just plugged the router in and then waited for the ring light to turn solid white. Then I went ahead and connected my modem to the router using the provided network cable. Once that was done, I went to somewhere around the middle of the house and found a spot where I wanted to place the Orbi satellite. And then I went ahead and plugged it in. Once the satellite was plugged in, I just waited to get a solid blue light on the satellite. So far, so good. After I got a solid blue light on the satellite, I connected my iPad to the network. I then went to orbilogin.com and then followed the on-screen instructions. First, the Orbi detected and then set up the internet connection. Next, it identified the one satellite that I had plugged in and then connected it and incorporated it into the network. Now it was time to give the network a name, set up a username and password, and then also set up some security questions. Everything was great until I got to the firmware update page, and here, the Orbi was trying to update the firmware on the router and the satellite. Now it found and downloaded the firmware update for the router. But for the satellite, it found that there's a newer version, but wasn't able to download it. And this is where I got stuck, because there's no way to get past this screen. You can't skip or hit continue without first downloading both firmwares. So I tried going through this process several times, and then finally I called Netgear Tech Support. The first person I spoke with just had me go through the same process three more times. And I finally said, look, this clearly isn't the solution. I suggested that they escalate me to the next level of support. And he said that he can't actually transfer me there, but he will have them call me. And then sure enough, later on in the day, I did get a call from support. While I was waiting for support, I was trying to think of the problem and I had an idea for a solution. And I figured once they'd call me back, I'd ask them if that would work. My idea was that since the problem is only with the satellite, why don't I just set up the router and then after everything is working, then connect the satellite and then do a manual update of the firmware. And that actually ended up being the solution that we used. So I reset the router by holding down the reset button for 10 seconds and then went through the entire setup process again, but only with the router this time. Meaning that once the router had connected to the network, I then took my iPad and went to orbilogin.com right then. I went through setting up the network name and the username and the password, the security questions, and then went to the firmware update page. Now, since this time only the router was connected, it found the firmware update, downloaded it, and I was able to install it and continue. And that finally got me to a situation where I could actually log into the router via the browser. Once I was able to log into the router interface, I went ahead and plugged the satellite in. And then I went through a manual update of the firmware on the satellite, and I'll walk you through those steps. So start out by going to netgear.com support. Then search for the model number RBK50. I'll add a link in the description to make this easier. Scroll down to the bottom until you see the firmware and software download section and then click on it. In this section, you want to find the RBS50, which is the satellite's firmware update, and then click on it to download. Once it's downloaded, go ahead and unzip the files and the one that you're looking for will have a .img extension. Now open your browser and go to orbilogin.com and then go ahead and log in. Once you're logged in, click on the advanced tab and then on the left hand side, click on administration and then firmware update. We already know that the online update isn't going to work. So go ahead and select the manual update tab. You'll see two sections, one for the router and one for the satellite. Select the one for the satellite and then click update on the right. You'll get a pop-up window and it may ask you to log into the router one more time. In this pop-up window, go ahead and click browse and then find the .img file that you just extracted. Once you find it, select it and then click upload. Once it's done uploading, it will show you both your current version and the new version of the firmware. And it will ask you whether you want to install the new version. Just say yes. I'm already using the most current version, so I'm not going to go ahead and reinstall it. But after you hit yes, you'll see a progress bar 
and then it will tell you that the installation was successful. So that's really it. I've had the Orbi now for several weeks and I love it. This was really the only problem that I ran into. I'll say again that I think it's an excellent solution for anyone that's having any kind of internet signal problems in their home. If this video was helpful, please give it a like and then subscribe to my channel for more tech reviews and tutorials. And thank you for watching.